PVM makes your wife want to leave you. Kate, 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 come look. I just hit 452 kill count at the Tombs of a Mascot. I don't care. The game's boring and I'm leaving you. And skilling? Skilling makes your kids think you're fucking boring. No, 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 no. Look, look, I'll explain it again. If you click the herb and then the tar and then the fishing spot, all within 1.8 seconds, then you can increase your XP per hour by upwards of 60%. Daddy, this is rubbish. But getting pets? Pets feel like this. No fucking way! No fucking way! We just got the fuck- <laughs> This is One Pet at a Time, the Extreme Edition. Okay, so I guess we're kicking this episode off with yet another of the boring quests you feel obligated to do because it's what you have to do to be able to do the good quests. Uh, but there is Jungle Potion, uh, queuing us up to do Shiloh Village, and then one small favour. One small favour is so that we can get up to 35 fishing, which will let us start Temporos. And as long as I don't uh, fish in the pool of many rewards, whatever it's called, um, I don't roll for the pet. So I can train fishing there as much as I like, and I need 53 for recipe for disaster. Now you might be thinking, oh, but you've got to fish a lava reel in recipe for disaster. And you'd be right, you do. And I thought that rolled the fishing pet as well. But as it turns out, it doesn't. Uh, you can, it's the infernal eel, not the lava eel, that rolls, uh, that rolls for the pet. So actually, I can fish the lava eel, no problem at all. But yeah, onwards to Shiloh Village. Okay, there's a couple of clips here that I didn't record any audio for, for some reason. Um, but we got Shiloh Village done, which was a... It's actually not that bad of a quest. I, th I always think of it as being so arduous, getting to Shiloh Village, but it's really not that bad um, once you've got fairy rings unlocked. I imagine without fairy rings, it would make you want to blow your brains out. But before that... It's not too... But, I mean, after that, it's okay. Um, and then, to do one small favour, I needed 36 agility. And, as it turns out, uh, the monkey bars underneath Edgeville Dungeon are actually quite good agility training XP. Um, as long as you can't do agility courses. So, that's just me. Um, but, yeah, we got 36 agility. And then, I believe we cracked on one small favour. Fucking hell. That quest took a long time. And a lot of chatting and holding space. But, here we are. At the end of one small favour, one of the most important quests on the account because we're going to get 20,000 XP in lamps. Are we? Yes. There we go. Two antique lamps, which is huge. So, first one of these is going to go on fishing. Get us level 36. We only really need 35 for Temporos, which is massive. And the second of these, I'm debating between agility and mining. Because I'm thinking I'm going to train agility next. So my XP and that's going to be quite high. Um, and obviously I can't train mining for anything other than Guardians of the Rift. But the Guardians of the Rift training is about 6 clicks an hour. Um, and it's about 10k XP per hour. So it's not too bad. So do I want to save myself an hour of that or skip some early agility levels? Probably the agility levels. So there we go with that 39 there. Alright, that is an important quest done. And we can now do Temporos for fishing. Which is very exciting. Okay, so I realised in the last episode that I may not have actually explained why we're doing Relica stalls. So the reason we're doing it is that it's the highest drop rate for Rocky at a 1 in 36,490 uh, base chance. So you can take probably 1,000 off that for the fact that we've got level 60 so far, 2,000 off that for if you're level 99. Um, but essentially you can thieve about 1300 of these stalls per hour as long as you keep your run up which is actually a very good rate but to do so we need to have two alternative accounts here so we've got one main here um, who is his role at the moment is to hold the fishmonger here and he does that by uh, talking to him like this um, and then the other account is uh, is holding the fur trader over here like this by talking to him. I've both got these set on 25 minute logout timers so I shouldn't uh, lose them. Um, the account here is also holding these four market guards behind this fence here 
um, and this account is holding this market guard in this corner over here. You can hold it further over this side, but the people doing the Relica thieving course come down here, run over here, and break the... Um, they just break it, essentially. Um, so yeah, it's holding the market guard store uh, over here, and he's also holding the fur trader. Um, and doing all of that allows us to thieve all five of these chests, uh, not chests, what they're called, um, stalls, uh, with immunity from getting caught, which is very nice. Uh, and what's actually really nice about this method is when you do low level thieving, when you're just starting, whether you're doing blackjacking, ardy knights, um, anything like that, you fail a lot and it's annoying and you have to eat food and blah 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 and then by the time you know you get like 95 you can just spam click RD nights or you don't really get caught doing blackjacking anymore um, and it's fine um, but it's really annoying at low levels whereas this 100% success rate so my thought is knock out the thieving pet early uh, by with a 100% success rate when I'm only level you know 60 thieving uh, which would otherwise be impossible and then if I need cash later on I can get it with the high thieving and no fail rate. So I think this is probably actually, if you're planning on getting the Rocky Pet at any point, do it as early as you can, because um, this is actually a really relaxed training method. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd just give a bit of explanation behind why I'm doing this, if uh, for those that didn't know. So here is 50... Five herb law, which means you can make super strengths now, which basically means, and I've actually got about 300 ingredients for it stacked up, which means that we can train combat properly now because I can just use super strengths everywhere no matter what. Um, so I'm going to get 60 attack at some point so I can equip Dragon Scimitar and then we can kind of start Slayer from there. All right, I found an optimization of one tick on this route. So normally you go from here and you click straight on there and you end up on this tile here but if you and then so you'd run across here one two three four ticks thieve the thing and then you take one two ticks to get here whereas the optimization I found is one two three four ticks to there and then only one tick to there and then you're away god I'm a, such a gamer I thought you had to do the quest to get these, but turns out I can just get them. So they're going to be our best in slot, uh, best in slot boots uh, for doing thieving. That's so interesting. I did not know that. So yeah, before you get graceful, turns out you can just go and grab boots of lightness for free for no reason. And that's sixty-five thieving, which is. Uh the level for Menifite thugs. So we've entirely skipped the uh, early stages of blackjacking. Um, but we're going to stick with the stalls until we get the pet. I am determined on that. Now, like a lazy piece of shit, I decided to uh, buy a fighter torso from Leech. No, I don't know what it's called. BA Services. That's the one. Uh, so, free shout out to them, to my not very many viewers. Um, but I think I can get the fighter torso now. So, crucially, I wasn't going to do... I, I thought I was locked out doing Barbarian itself, but... I'm not, because it's the gamble that um, gives you the pet. You cannot get the pet just from doing Barbarian Assault or buying a Penance Torso. So, I can buy one. So, there it is. Except, and now we've got a Fighter Torso. Huge for the account. Uh, let's equip that bad boy. Wow, we're nearly Slayer ready. We just need a few more items. And there is Recruitment Drive. So, we've... Stella Wren, Stella Wren, you're always having, you've always got something to say, haven't you, chicken? Um, okay, there's a recruitment drive. I can't remember what the quest is for, uh, for proselyte. I oh, thought so it was sea slug. What's the quest for? Okay, right. Let's have, let's have, let's look it up because we're that stupid. Uh, it is slug menace. I knew it was something slug, slug related. Uh, can we do Slug Menace? No, we need Wanted and we need Dirty Slayer. Okay, so we're stuck with... Uh, we're stuck with uh, this fella for now. How much are the legs? 8,000? We'll have to get some more money. Oh, for fuck's sake, I missed the level. And not by, not, not by a small amount either. <laughs> 60 attack. 
Uh, that means we can get a dragon scimitar now, I believe. Uh, I just need to go to. Uh, I just need to go to Ape Town. Let's get one of these bad boys then. 100k. Teleport away. And can we equip it? Oh, we can, and it looks beautiful. Right, let's see the stat differences. So, 49 slash and 67 strength. 71 slash. 89 strength, that is huge. 22 strength bonus. My max hit is going to be booming. 67 thieving. We are absolutely booming here. And I've typed this out because I saw a guy teleport here with his uh, with his boots in full Torva and then immediately teleport out. So I reckon he's at Vorkath and has uh, forgotten something. <laughs> Don't worry about me, I'm just weird. He never walked back past, so I just had to send it to nobody. <laughs> Embarrassing. Oh, this might just be out of reach for us with our current gear. Oh, come on. Maybe if I brought a DDS and just got a bit luckier. I don't think this is going to happen though, is it? Come on. Oh, fuck. Do I just let myself die? Nah. Calling it. Oh, that's so annoying. Alright. Um, I think I can get it. I think I can get it. Okay, looks like we're going to get it this time. Uh, DDS didn't do much. I just kind of went Rambo with the Dragon Scimitar, which was good. I um, think I definitely need to get my stats and gear a bit better ahead of the next one. Um, so that'll be something we'll work on. But there we go. 2 minutes 59. Huge. Let's see what we get. Please, bottomless bucket. Never lucky, but that would be pretty. Oh, the white lily seeds is good, though. Oh, that's so nice. I can actually plant those. And when I get that task now, that's very nice. Okay, our boy uh, Tuts is online now, ready to get his uh, 100 mil that he won for uh, guessing the XP we'd get the Phoenix uh, the closest. The right 100 entries, so quite a uh, quite a, quite a dub for him. I'm really hoping that he's not like a 126 main that 100 mil is nothing. I'm really hoping that he's like level 85 wearing like full dragon or something that would be uh that would be ideal oh here he is here he is oh level 109 level 109 that that'll that'll do he's not you know he's not gonna be the the man right let's uh which account's got the money on it this one cool okay right let's uh let's trade this guy's money Tuts 08. Here he is. Is he gonna accept our trade offer? I can't go. I can't go south of this line here. Uh, let's give him his 100 M's. Hopefully he's significantly richer than he was otherwise. Now I need to uh, re-grab the fishmonger. So we are approaching level 69 thieving. We are at about 15,500 rolls for the pet. Um, rate is 35,000. So we're nearly halfway to, uh, to the pet rate. Um, so yeah, hopefully we can get it before we get there. And if not... Hopefully not too not too long afterwards. We've been doing some absolute gaming on mobile. Um, I got 60 runecrafting last night, 75 farming this morning, um, 70 hunter earlier as well. Um, really getting through those sort of base levels of those skills, which is uh, really. I've got the fan favorite Stella with me at the moment. I'm also losing my voice quite badly, um, but I need four soft clay for the golem. And 
getting soft clay without uh, without um, rolling for the mining pad is actually really tedious. Um, so my best method is to uh, mine these um, mine the soil at the level two digs, which is a one in sixteen of getting a getting a regular clay, and then I should just be able to use buckets of water on it from there. Um, but yeah. And I need uh, I need a golem for Shadow of the Storm, and I need Shadow of the Storm so I'm thirty range, and then with the range levels I can um, with the range levels I can. What is it that I'm trying to do? Oh, I need to do big chompy bird hunting so I can pr progress recipe for disaster. Yoke okay, style, which is alright. Okay, we can get the soft clay. Thank goodness for that. Oh, isn't it just the most cringe when you're in the early game and you run out of run and there's nothing you can do about it and it just oh, makes me want to vomit in my mouth. Um, but I think this should be the end of the golem here. Uh, we just, uh, no, put that there. Come back. There we go. Okay, that took a little while. Um, all right, that I think should unlock Shadow of the Storm now. Um, we can do that to get some range levels. Okay, we finished Shadow of the Storm. That was a ten-minute quest. I for some reason thought it took longer than that. Uh, but we're going to use our XP lamp on ranged and get twenty up to level twenty-seven. That is so OP. I love it. Um, okay, cool. Now that should now let us do big chompy bird hunting because I think we need range levels for that. Oh, that's annoying. Right, I need to get three range levels somehow. So I'll go do that now. Alright, this is a tiny bit cheap, but I felt like I needed to do this. Uh, and I could not be bothered training range any other way. Uh, we're going to create some of the small fossil things down here and I think we should get some XP lamps that I can use um, that I can use on skills level 20 and below. So I think if I just add to these, I should get some uh, I should get some XP lamps. Let's see. Okay. Here we go. Look at that. Always finding ways to scam through doing things we need to do. Right. Let's see. On range. Yes. Level 29. And then the second lamp should get us to level 30. 30 range. Simple as that. There we go. We can get an ogre composite bow. And now can we do big chompy bird hunting? Or was there another requirement? No, we can. Good stuff. No! 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 To do this quest, you need to chop Achi trees to get the Achi logs to make the arrow shafts. So I can't do big Tommy bird hunting until I'm going for the beaver. Fuck, that looks as that so much. That looks as I have at least two of the Recipe for Disaster quests. Ah, oh, shit. Yeah, because you need it for... So you need Big Chomby Bird Hunting for... Um... Oh my god, it's going to look at that so much. You need Big Chomby Bird Hunting to do the Lumbridge Guide. One... And you need it to do the. You need it to do the um, the scratch one as well. Oh no, no, that's so bad. Um, okay. Uh, what are the rewards from doing big chompy bird hunting? Let's see what other quests we're locked out of. This is so not good. Oh, fuck. I'm done. I'm done. I can't do Morning's End Part 1 without doing Big Chompy Bird Hunting. 
Which means I can't do Morning's End Part 2, which means I can't do Song of the Elves. Fucking hell, that's not good. Oh, that's so brutal. Yeah, because to do Song of the Elves, you need Morning's End Part 2. This is really not good. Right, I need to see if I can get actually logs any other way, but I really don't think I can. Oh, fuck. Oh, this is so brutal. I, there's no way around it. Half, I have to get the beaver there then. So, right, that's put a bump in the road in our plans. Luckily, we're already 70 wood cutting from Wintertide, so I can get straight to doing uh, teak trees once I've got the thieving pet. Um, which is alright, it's not the end of the world to be fair, because like I'm only level 30 range, only level 58 magic, what was I going to do, get to Corrupted Gauntlet with these stats, of course not, I had so much more to do before that, but <laughs> that really puts a big bump in the road, uh, I really didn't want to have to get a load of fucking skilling pets before doing um, Song of the Elves, what I might have to do is get 70 agility from shortcuts and then and then I have to get that as well and I only have to get thieving and woodcutting that is brutal man that is so brutal so it's a few hours hence since the uh, debilitating woodcutting reveal um, so that hurts. <laughs> I thought we were going to be at uh, Corrupted Gauntlet far sooner than we are. But, my friend Phantomine, legend, good friend, has hit me with some interesting facts, which is you can't get pet roles in free-to-play. Now, that doesn't really help me with anything. Except one thing, which is mining. I was currently going to be spending an extra, another at least 62 hours at Guardians of the Rift getting 10k XP per hour to get 70 mining for Song of the Elves. But if I hop into free to play and do power mining iron, I can cut that down to about 10 less maybe um depending what method i do um so i could easily save at least 50 hours there i think it's fair game to train in free to play i said when i started this series that my one exception to the pet roll rule was fine and that's oh god this losing my voice is doing my head in and that's why I've been allowed to do things like Guardians of the Rift and Temporos so far because they're not rolling for the pet. Now, I think free play is a little bit jammier than Temporos and Guardians of the Rift because if I were to mine iron in, in pay to play, then I obviously would roll the pet. But I always said it was about the pet roll. It wasn't about the training the skill. Hence why we're allowed to do quests. Hence why we're allowed to train at places like Guardians of Rift and Temporos. So if I'm not rolling the pet, I think it's fair play. So that means I can train mining and free to play at a reasonable rate. And to be honest, from your guys' point of view, it doesn't really matter, right? I save 50 or 60 hours doing mining. Um, and I get to Corrupted Gauntlet and other interesting content like Tombs of a Massacre. 50 hours earlier which is only good only a good thing right if you're doing this series entirely meta efficient you just get all eight skilling pets and then crack on with pm but i don't want to be that boring for you guys i want to try and at least cut through to some pvm where i can and shortcut some of these um some of these skilling grinds um so i think it's a it's a win-win all round and i think it's fair the only rule is you're not allowed to roll for another pet once you've rolled for, you know, the first pet. So if I'm not rolling for a pet in free-to-play worlds, then so what? That's fair. 
So, uh, yeah, let me know what you think in the comments. I mean, I don't think I'm going to change my opinion if any of you disagree. Um, but I'd love to hear reasons why you disagree if you do or, you know, if you agree. God, don't lose your voice, guys. Not fun. Um, but, yeah, interesting revelation. And thank you again to Alex for uh, coming, up with the, uh, coming up with the idea. And look, it's not like it's a free pass, all started mining and free to play. I'm going to have to contend with so many bots. It's going to be such a pain in the ass. So, yeah, it's not exactly a free ride either. <laughs> so I've been, I've been very clever. And when I'm doing, uh, well, I'm doing Ammonite Crabs um, in my free time to get some combat levels um, on mobile. But they drop volcanic ash. So I can actually get ultra compost in very small amounts. Uh, by doing ammonite crabs. So I've been using it on these magic trees and we are about to get 77 farming. Really uh, pressing on through that. Uh, need to get level, well I guess I guess I can plant spirit tree from level 78, um, but I wanna do the one at the farming guild which is gonna require level 80. But we're nearly there. Really not that far away. Okay, we're pounding through the quests to get us set up with the Dorgishan crossbow and Ava's accumulator. Um, yeah, I think I need to do death to the Dorgishan next. Are there any requirements that I can't do? Uh, no, it looks like we're all right. Although it looks like I need to go and get two full ham robe sets. Are you fucking kidding me? What? Okay, there is death to the Dorgishan done. I believe I can now uh, trade with this fella to get bone crossbow and bolts and such. Uh, so that should be... Is that a thousand bolts for three? No, a hundred bolts. Okay. <laughs> I was going to say. Right, and Dorgashen crossbow. We'll just get some of these for now. Um, yeah, I'm gonna, I needed to do this quest so I could get access to the bullseye lantern. So that I could do uh, tiers of guthics so that I could get the XP in my lowest skill, which is Slayer, to get it to 18 ready for uh, Ava's, what's the Ava quest called? Animal Magnetism. So uh, yeah, we'll get on with that now. Okay, so I should just be able to pick lock these chests here. Another reason why uh, getting thieving was a good choice. Oh, I need a pick lock. Can I get a pick lock? <laughs> okay, here is Tears of Gothics, let's hop in and hope we can get enough tears to get us level 18 slayer okay let's see how we did come on please fingers crossed i really can't be bothered killing any low level shit level 20 easy game easy game right now we can do animal magnetism i believe indeed we can wow that is a extremely arduous quest but finally done with it. Oh my god, I can't believe how mad that was. Like, just how long it took to get all the items for it and then actually to do it. Um, but right, we should be set up to do all of our range uh, training now. Um, just going to do some more AFK and Ammonite Crabs while I, on mobile. I was watching TV. So, it's a long weekend in the UK here today because it's a bank holiday. Um, but... And I just realised I'm going to put my bank pin in before starting this. Okay, so it's a bank holiday. So I've been doing a lot of gaming on mobile. Because I don't play on my computer over the weekends normally. So it's an extended weekend as well. Um, but what we created was 2,000 soda ash from our uh, giant seaweed. Which is going to be enough to get us to 61 crafting. Which is what we need for Lunar Diplomacy. So we need that. We need 65 magic. We need 60 mining. Uh, none of those should be too much trouble. But yeah. Just a little bit of an update. Oh, and also, we're about to get 70 strength. So I look forward to that. 70! See? See? When I say I deliver, I fucking deliver. You see? Well, it'll be a long, long, long while until I'm equipping any of that. But there we go. 77 combat as well, which means we can start Konar. Um been a huge weekend at Ammonite Crab so far, um, but 60 and 70 means that we can now go to the Warriors Guild and get ourselves a, uh, is it a Rune Defender? No, I can, well, I can I can get a Dragon because I'm going to train defense from now on. Uh, I think I need to just go and see if I can get myself a full Mithril set. I think I can. Right, we've been gaming on mobile, uh, 
this week with the long weekend. Um, I got 61 crafting, which is the level for uh, Lunar Diplomacy. Uh, I also started on magic training uh, towards 65 for Lunar Diplomacy, uh, 63 so far. Um, I also started on the Warriors Guild, which is why we've got 56 defense. I've only got the Bronze Defender so far. Um, what else do I do? Oh, and I've been keeping up my farm runs, which is what we're doing at the moment. So I'm going to check this uh, cow quad tree and get 79 farming, which is quite crazy um, for such a low level account. But we are um, we're nearly at 80, and 80 is the big level because 80 means that I can go into the I can boost to get into the high tier bit of the farming guild and plant myself a spirit tree and then I can actually get to the farming guild incredibly easily. Uh, so that is going to be a game changer. Up to a thousand empty bird nests when we finally get to be able to do uh, to uh, make brews we're gonna be stacked. And there is the rune defender which is big. Uh, we've still got 190 tokens, so I might just try and go and get the dragon on that. Um, but yeah, we're really rattling through it. I thought I wouldn't get to 60 defense, but turns out I did. And I and I am going to uh, continue going for the uh, for the dragon defender, which will be the best defender we have for a while, because I don't think we're going to be at Tob um, at any point in the extremely near future. Oh, we got it in like three kills. Lol. That's huge, that's huge. Spooning, look at that. Right, that's awesome. That is so awesome. Right, what do, what, what are the bonuses over the Rune Defender? So just an extra one strand, it's a bunch of attack, but even still, huge item, huge item. And there is 70 thieving, entirely done on the uh, Relic of Stall. So that is quite a big, big amount of thieving that I've done this week on top of all the combat that I've done. Um, but yeah, I think we'll probably leave it at around there. Right, I think we'll call it there for this episode. It's been a very busy week. Uh, a lot of mobile gameplay in terms of the uh, in terms of the progress, but big progress nonetheless for the account. We got, you know, all the Warriors Guild stuff done, which was huge and took a lot of time AFK and on mobile. Um, We've got uh, we got the magic level up. We've been continuing with the farming and the uh, hunter, and crucially up to seventy thieving. I didn't do quite as much thieving as I wanted to do this week, um, but it's a decent amount. We're half. We're about halfway to the pet. In fact, slightly more. We're about fifteen of twenty five hours the rate done. Um, so we will be hitting the rate for the pet next week. Um, but yeah, good episode all round, um, good general progress all round. And yeah, um, oh, I got made YouTube partner uh, uh, on Friday, no, Monday, on Monday. Um, so we're, we're moving up in the world. So uh, I'm not sure if there's going to be a subscribe button um, underneath this video. I don't really know how it works yet. Um, but if there is, uh, and you've got a few quid spare, which I think is how much it is, feel free to uh, click it. Because the, the more money I can make from this, the more I can convince my wife that it's a good idea, uh, and the more time I can spend doing it. Um, so yeah, if you can, uh, if you can uh, do that, that'd be great. But uh, otherwise, um, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll uh, I'll see you again next time. Bye bye.